going on everybody welcome back to the channel welcome back to today's adventure today we're getting out at one of my favorite locations we're going to be doing some kayak fishing again as you can see we are going to be getting a little bit later start than i wanted to so i'm not too sure how the bite's going to be it's 9 30 a.m right now but we are going to be testing out this month's brand new mystery tackle box it is filled with lures and brands that i have not really used or i'm not too familiar with yet uh, so today we're going to be testing out a few different setups and a few different techniques i've already kind of uh, rummaged through this box and taken a look at it and it has some really unique and cool lures that i haven't really tried or seen yet uh, so I'm excited to test them out today. So one of the first lures that I'm really excited to try is going to be this hoax little chisel worm. And I want to try it out in Neko Rig. It seems like it'd be a really cool way to fish it. As you can see, you get that really unique angle and that really unique dangle and uh, hopefully get those fish to bite. So we're going to be testing this one out for sure, Neko Rig. The next lure that I see that I'm going to be testing out is the little vertical lures, the little tube. I'll probably be putting this on drop shot just because I already have a drop shot set up and it is that summer finesse kind of season. We're going to have to slow it down and uh, kind of try to make the bite easy for these fish if they are out here, especially later in the day and then the next thing that I see is this zero gravity jig so I'm just really excited about this because apparently it's like a hollow jig that just has like a slow really fall like subtle subtle fall um, so I'm gonna try that out we're gonna probably flip it and pitch under some of these trees here I usually use frogs at this location so I assume I'm gonna kind of use this lure that same way that I would use a frog if I see thick vegetation trees stuff like that we're gonna flip it under there and uh, try to make something happen so we got it in like a orange color it's kind of like a craw looking color I'm not exactly sure what it is uh, it doesn't say really too much in specific about the color, um, but I'm assuming it's like a Carolina craw because this is a company from North Carolina. So let's go ahead and rig these up real quick. We'll go ahead and get out there in the water and get us some action. So let's get to it. And real quick guys, before we get started, if you don't already know, you can use my code RyanR, get your first box for as little as $10 or save yourself $10 off any of your Mystery Tackle boxes available at shopcarls.com. Today's video is actually gonna be sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box, so huge shout out to them. Always sending us the best lures, the best techniques to go ahead and learn new stuff, get out here and have fun. It's always a great time every month when we get Mystery Tackle Box, so that's why we love them. So big shout out to those guys. Now let's get to today's video. All right, here goes nothing. It is a lot lower the water was like this is probably down about oh man it's really far down I feel like it's about two feet down a dead bluegill oh, oh well we know what bait to use <laughs> that little head hunter they gave us this month here we go wait a second wait a second my paddle's not here that means it's back at the car all right solved that problem got the paddle let's go ahead and uh jump on this bad boy real quick and uh let's see get this out Pop that there tie this up Drop the rudder. All right, let's go. Oh my gosh, man, it's so shallow. It's like it's bad, but it's good for me. Cause like when it's shallow, these tree lines over here, they open up, you get about an extra foot or two underneath the water where you can toss those lures and really, really get those fish pretty easily. And I will say water level, really low, clarity, really bad. And it is pretty cold too feels like it's like in the 60s to be honest but I know it's just because it's about almost 90 degrees right now so realistically it's probably uh, 80 maybe 75 at the lowest so cooler water temperatures on a sunny day will typically mean that the fish will still be sitting up shallow you know they might be hugging that Sun right between that Sun and that shade just trying to make an easy uh, little decision if they want to stay warm or cool throughout the day and at the same time anything cruising the edge they can try to target it and make a meal out of it so I'm gonna grab our first little setup just start tossing it over there I didn't actually go over the whole box so I'll go over the whole box a little bit later but there's just some pretty sweet looking areas you can't pass up on 
So while we're here, let's go ahead and make something happen. So the crazy thing about this lure, I'm gonna bring it in real quick. When you Neko rig lures, what they do is it allows that weight to kind of pull the lure down and it sits at a really, really kind of like a shaky head, really unique style. It's not necessarily like a shaky head, but it'll sit real upright, kicks that tail back. And then we got that weed guard on here, so it can't really get any sort of grass or any debris on there. We got that little uh, ring, the little wacky rings to save it from ripping, stuff like that. So it's a, it's a technique that you kind of have to have a little bit more tackle in your arsenal, but it works good to finesse these fish, especially nope that wasn't a fish that was a tree especially during this time of the season where the bites off but they still want to eat a real thick worm i got smacked man i got yeah yep 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 first fish it's a good one too oh yeah first fish just like that get that old school shimano having a hard time letting that drag open there we go first fish guys on that neko rig man i'd say probably about a healthy two pounder barely barely got him barely hooked him but like i said that finesse style setup where it just hops along the bottom definitely definitely we'll get the fish to go Woo, making sure i was recording a really really dark bass got like yellow kind of fins pretty colors there we go with that hoax man that hoax little uh chisel worm first fish of the day within i'd say 10 minutes out here on the water not even all right guys so that was a pretty big fish i should have actually got the measure on the little mtb board i would say it's probably about 18 inches it wasn't a full board but it was still a really solid fish but real quick i just want to take a look at what else they have in this month's box because we did get the 10,000 fish headhunter which is a lure that i really really love and uh, i'm very passionate about especially during the bluegill spawn like uh i would say probably in the next few months right around winter time so there's a lot of bluegill in the water that'll be around this size maybe a little bit smaller so around that time there will be a lot of fish this particular size in the water just kind of wandering around the edges and those bass will kind of just be working just a little bit deeper trying to target the little weak little ones hopping around or just straggling behind the rest of them and uh, this lure will definitely do its trick it can even work right now but uh, in the next month I would say October excuse me there's an airplane above me all of a sudden so on top of the soft plastics that I've already showed you guys the two baits the little chisel worms and then the jig that I actually have tied on already we got the little Weston little popper and this thing's perfect it's like a shad color and that is just ideal for this time of the year there's a lot of shad in the water tons of shad and the fish are just chasing them to the top popping on them and uh, that's exactly what you want to have you want to have something that imitates those shad creates that popping motion and uh, really attracts those fish so this is a really really good one big shout out to mtb for these two lures right here because these are the two bait fish that are going to be most in the water right now especially here in texas so these two lures are probably going to work from now until i would say Christmas time, maybe even a little bit after to be honest. Um, and then on top of that, we got some nice harmony hooks. So these are some wire hooks. These things are sharp as can be. Uh, I will tell you from experience, I've got these things in my hand. I actually think, yeah, I got the mark right there. So that is gonna be what we got in this month's Mystery Tackle Box, really solid box. Don't forget guys, if you wanna get your first box, you can get it as little as $10 by using the code RyanR, leaving links below for you guys. But uh, let's get back to some fish and see if we get something else on this little Neko rig, Nico rig, however you guys want to say it. And on top of that, I got that jig and that drop shot. So we got plenty of stuff to try out. I'm probably slap some sunscreen on because my feet are starting to get fried out here. And uh, let's get to some fishing. As far as setup, guys, we're throwing this on the Guggen Go To. You might want to go a little bit more finessey when you're using setups like this. Just something that's really, really light on the touch uh, where you can feel kind of every little pop, every little, you know, nick. This pole itself is actually really good for that. I like it, uh, but some people might want something a little bit more sensitive. So personally, I would just, you know, say something maybe a medium to a medium heavy. This is going to be a medium heavy setup that I'm using today. Um, as far as the line, I got 15 pound fluoro on there so it can kind of sink and stay low in there but at the same time there's some nice strength the lines so i don't have to worry about fraying if i'm fishing sort of this thick vegetation and trees and whatnot like that once again we got that i believe 16th of an ounce little nail weight and then we got the little two watt little neko hooks so these hooks are specifically designed for this technique where they have that grass guard and uh make it real easy to get in and out of this vegetation without getting hung up on anything the good thing about this like little worm too that we're using is personally i think it looks like a caterpillar especially like when it's got those little like rib style body 
it makes it look like hair. Here, I'll bring it up and show you guys. So you see it's like a big old caterpillar I would see, you know, hanging out on these trees and just fall in the water. And, you know, if you're a fish hanging out around the area, you see something like that fall on the edge, you're not even going to think twice. You're just going to run up, grab it, take off. So we just got to find out where these fish are at. Oh, damn, I got smacked. Oh, we got something. Oh, it spit it out. We had something. It couldn't have been a very big fish. It had to have been a bluegill. For it to not be able to have it all the way in its mouth and the way it hit it, it was like a thunk, thunk. And uh, it took off underneath the boat. It didn't feel very big. It literally, man, that was our second fish of the day, though, man. Ah, just lost it. it I saw a shadow. It looked like probably about that big, so I'm assuming it's a big old bluegill that we just missed. But, uh, yeah, man, second fish, just right there, flipping it into these uh, little veg lines like I was talking about. So we're going to have to just keep on doing. So that nice vegetation right here, where you can usually still work it through it. And these fish, they'll be deep up in there. That's a good one too. Come on. Oh dude, another toady dude. We're not finding very many, but the ones that we're finding, look at this fish. <laughs> Same exact way. Oh my goodness, man, this is a nice fish. Real thick vegetation too. Just let it sit all the way down. Like this is like, really thick green nasty stuff that you can't even really let it get through like i had to kind of waddle the worm boom baby let's go <laughs> there we go guys second one of the day another nice chunky one dude on that neko rig just fishing it real subtle real slow fishing this vegetation and uh trying not to work it too fast and next thing you know we just got ourselves a nice little chunk dude so let's go ahead and get them back in the water and uh see if we can get a few more on this setup it seems to be working so why swap it out I got that jig. I'm really tempted to try it because it falls real slow and that's what's gonna, I guess, get the bite today. It's that really, really subtle movement. Oh my gosh, something just blew up on top water over there. So that means they're sitting on this little edge. That's good to know. All right, so let's get this thing released and then back uh, out there fishing. Keep that rod tip high. Oh, we lost that? Are you kidding me? We lost that? Oh, my goodness. Oh, he got us tied up in those twigs, man. My drag was just spinning. I need to set that a little bit higher because my drag was just spinning, man. As soon as it hit the water, took off with it. That's sad. Just lost another fish, man. Another potential fish started coming this way I was like okay it's an actual fish it's drifting this way it's coming this way set the hook and uh yikes to be honest that might have been one of our oh I got another one. Oh, oh my gosh oh my gosh that was a big fish that was a big fish oh my god look what it just did to my worm oh my gosh that was a big fish what in the world I just lost it twice man Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. We might have screwed up. That might have been like the fish of the week, fish of the year. That thing just hit it and like took off straight down towards this vegetation line. Try to rig up another worm real quick. I highly, highly doubt that we will get that fish to bite again. But the fact that I threw it there twice, had two bites back to back casts, it just, it wows me. It makes me just want to get it in there right away again. So I was just saying, I just want one more. We have two bites in the exact same spot within minutes of each other. Two big fish too, like back to back big fish.
Yeah, I got a fish. Oh, had a fish. Just didn't have it in his mouth all the way. I could tell he was like swimming with it wherever I pulled it. Oh man, my Neko rig is just, I can't get the hook sets to go through. I guess I'm just going too thick in the meat. There we go. That is what we want. Where that hook's actually sticking out a little bit. Another little one we lost, but once again, man, we know what they want. Give it to the man, Neko rig. Right in front of me too. I was like, <clears throat> I can feel something kind of running with it. I swear, someone's running with it. <laughs> Pulled it right out of its mouth. Oh yeah, I still have them. Oh yeah, we got them on deck. We got them on deck this time, boys. I was like, man, I feel my, I felt tension on my pole real quick while I was paddling. <laughs> Just in time. Just in time. Set the hook. It seems like they want it super duper slow, guys. A little tiny little dinkus of a bass. We'll take it though. There we go. It's so, it is so freaking hot and steamy that it's uh, starting to really cook me. Like legitimately, like I can feel my skin cooking. <laughs> so, just gonna fish these last little veg lines. Try to do it a little bit faster. Kind of just uh, get in and out, and uh, we'll go from there. I mean, I can't promise we're gonna catch anything, but if we do, you'll see it. If not, we'll be back at the car. Got so much sunscreen on my hand. It's like even if I did catch a fish right now, like setting the hook would probably like pop the reel out of my hand. So, good job, Ryan. I think we're on a fish. Oh! Man, today is just not my lucky day for getting fish on the boat. Literally, right here in front of us, just flipped it over there. And uh, I just can't make it happen, man. I think I'm just like getting a little too excited, setting the hook a little too soon. Line is super frayed though. Um, but man, that is four fish I've lost. And I've only landed three fish, so I've lost more fish than I've caught today, man. That is not good. That is not fun. You always want it to be the opposite. You know, you want to catch more than you lose, but I mean, they're out here. I just gotta make it happen. And they love this Neko rig, just the way it's like moving through the water. I think it's like the perfect amount of finesse. I just gotta really do a better job of securing this. Okay, as we're heading out of here, there's two things I'm gonna throw. It's gonna be my uh, big swim bait and my drop shot setup. I'm just gonna be looking for those big boys or have that drop shot for the occasional grass patches that I see out here. So we got that DRT little TK on there right now. A little grass patch right here next to me. Literally a gar. gar right, right there. Insane. Oh man, that was a good bass. That was a good bass. I can't even get him on the drop shot today. Oh man, that was a good one right here in front of me. I'll put this DRT away. Alright guys, finishing up one of the worst days that I've ever had out there on the water in a really long time. Uh, as far as, you know, just putting the fish on the kayak, we had the technique, we had the, uh, the pattern down, we just were not able to get these fish 
uh, on the boat and there were two fish specifically that I know were huge fish they had to have been at least four plus pounds um, that I never even got to see so unfortunately it was just a really really rough day but that happens when you get out here and you fish as much as I do you know not every day is gonna be as easy as you want it to be you're not gonna be able to just get out there and catch every single fish and uh, these are kind of the days that help us remember um, how good we have it when we do have those good days how much fun it is when you have those good days um, but still did enjoy today still had a lot of fun out there fishing the new lures for mystery tackle box those tubes um, I didn't really get to show you guys because it was towards the end of the day But when I was fishing that drop shot lost that one fish I started kind of just messing around with the tube on that drop shot. It looks so insane It was just like a fidgeting little fluke little it, it, uh, the way the tail splits and the way that that hollow body just floats through the water that tube on a drop shot is definitely deadly and definitely something that I need to try out in the future. Um, again, that Neko rig, the Nico rig, however you want to call it, was our number one baller today. Produced the most bites, produced the biggest bites, and uh, it, it got us the fish. So all in all, it was a rough day, but I had a lot of fun out here nonetheless. Mystery Tackle Box provided some great lures this month. If you guys are not already a member of the Mystery Tackle Box, you need to take a look at it. Hit my code up, Ryan R, save yourself some money. But uh, just, you know, get out there and have some fun trying new techniques and trying new lures like I did today. And as you guys can see out there, it was a ton of fun. I just was not able to land every single fish and uh, the heat was really starting to get to me. So without further ado, that is gonna do it for today, guys. Once again, Again, big shout out to Mr. Tackle Box for sponsoring today's video. Use my code RyanR, leaving links below. Thank you everybody for checking out today's video. Make sure you hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed it, if you learned something, if you like that setup. Anything that you found in this video that you like, hit that thumbs up button because it helps me out. Make sure you subscribe to the channel as well if you're not already. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.